happening. Um, it's not an easy film to watch. So, and th that's precisely why it is important to watch. Uh, and that's also why I'm additionally grateful for you not turning away, but looking together with us. Um, when the war started, I was in Ukraine. I was in the Solidarity Mission with the Ukraine Solidarity Campaign representatives, trade unionists and uh, activists from the UK, some of which are in this room now. I'm looking at you, Julie, <laughs> uh, of course. Um, and what you will see on the screen, because I stayed in Ukraine when the war started, I had to see my family, even, even if it was one last time. So I fled Kiev together with other people in the morning of invasion towards my family in Vinica. What you will see today is what you probably had, but I certainly did watch live on TV. And when I watched this film for the first time in the autumn, it was shown at the Bristol Festival of the Future Cities. And I was there at the discussion panel. It brought every single memory to my mind of how it was unfolding before our eyes, but also the it brought even closer the realization that the war isn't over, that so many people are still missing, that so many people are still gone, and that so many are disappearing as I'm speaking. At this point, up to 24,000 people are registered as missing. They're the people who are not listed in the lists of uh, prisoners of war or refugees or uh, those who had to go to Russia. That's not refugees. Those people are captives. And those whose bodies aren't found. Out of those, over 15,000 are military, of which two are my relatives. The person who was at the panel with me uh, in Bristol, Vlad Mechnenko, he's from Donetsk. He had family in Mariupol. His aunt, her daughter, husband, and kids, five of them. There's been no contact with them since a few days into the siege of Mariupol. And what he said at that panel is that this film helped him, through what he saw being documented, realize that he probably will never hear from them again because the area where they used to be is completely annihilated. That makes us think about the importance of documenting these horrendous crimes if we are to ever come to justice uh, and any sort of resolution and reconciliation and maybe at some point a lasting peace. So I urge you all to pay attention. I urge you all to participate in campaigning. I urge you all to watch what our Ukraine Solidarity Campaign is doing. If you can, please donate generously because people are fighting for their lives and lives of those who can't keep fighting anymore every day. Um, follow what uh, organization that I'm a member of in Ukraine are doing. We're called Social Ruch, a social movement, democratic socialist organization that is trying to make the Ukraine that people are dying for a reality once and when there is a chance. Thank you all very much. Um, I'm not sure if it's appropriate to say I hope you enjoy the film, but I hope you will find it illuminating and educational in some sense. Thank you for coming.